We are back at the Patty Project to check out how progress is coming along. We are meeting with Michael Katsibis of Cap Studios, one of LA's best architects, to go over plans for the second house in the back. So follow us along. Welcome back to Patty Project Vlog 2. We've done a lot since the last time you guys were here. The floors, the paint, the baseboards, the new fan, the new cabinets, new countertops. It turned out beautiful. So we're starting with the very, very heavy questions, Michael. Yes. <laughs> What does an architect really do? <laughs> That's a great question. And I have been coloring all day and drawing lines all day. That's why you pick up the Exactly. <laughs> Mostly what we do is really focus on your dreams and aspirations for projects. You know, doing all the fun stuff like picking materials, you know, what things are going to look like, what kind of windows you want to use, all that kind of great stuff that people really enjoy doing. I love working with people and I love speaking to people about their projects and, you know, really starting off with a sketch from day one, you know, and then making that sketch for from the homeowner's perspective, do you think an architect is the first person they call? I think an architect should be the first person anyone calls for anything. Uh, fair, <laughs> but, fair, fair. <laughs> yes, no, I think, you know, yes, I think calling an architect the first one is, is a great move to do for sure. With builders and contractors, so you know, there's always a financial question at the beginning, so we'll work with you to get that right as well. Is it typical for the architect to have a contractor that he works with exclusively or is it normal for the homeowner to find a contractor to say work with my architect? So the uh, he or she, you know, there's plenty of <laughs> my apologies. So, so she could be a contractor as well, you know, or the, she could be the architect. That's right. Um, and so I also think, you know, yes, the, you know, architects, uh, they work with, you know, contractors all the time. We have lots of contractors. So, you know, we're happy to make recommendations. Most architects are very flexible in how they work. So more than happy to work with your own contractor, but we can also make recommendations. What does the design process look like? So we start off, you know, with big picture. Yeah. So you kind of always think, you know, what you know, I always like not to go to extremes, but go kind of push it as far as possible. So you, you know, you do want to have a grounded reality. So you need to understand the building code and the zoning code and those types of issues. So you kind of make that as a reference point. But also you want to start off, you know, I always think if you start off with it, you can end up with it. So sure. you kind of want to start off with a big idea yourself back in and you have to do it. starts off with a sketch, it starts off with an idea of working with people to kind of make that idea a reality. Would you give us a high level on what an ADU is? Yes, so um, ADU uh, sorry, it stands for an accessory dwelling unit and what that means is that it is a, uh, a unit that can be rented out separately to your own house. So it is attached to the single family residence that's on the lot so it can't be sold separately from the main house but it can be rented out to different tenants. And obviously you have attached ADUs, which means that it is attached to the house, and detached ones that are separate to the house, and they each have different kind of regulations. Um, and the, you know, the scale, the size uh, is regulated by the state, but it's also kind of dependent upon how much the house is existing and so on and so forth. Which is exactly what we're building here. Which is exactly what we're building here, which is going to be super exciting. Yes, <laughs> we'll do a check out the lock. Let's, Let's go look at it, super exciting. Out. So we're going to be looking at uh, the ADU accessory dwelling unit going to the backyard and really the idea is to create their own space for each of them. So the idea is to preserve a backyard for this house and also create a yard for this house and make them kind of feel like very two separate spaces. Uh, so the idea is to put a wall or a fence along this line here. The ADU will be situated into the back along the railroad lines and really the idea is to put the kind of, you know, um, bathrooms, closets, all that kind of support stay all along the back wall to cancel out the nose of the railroad tracks, as you can see right there, right. and then put the living space on this side of the lot. So that's all facing the yard and capturing the sun uh, and obviously creating kind of a very enjoyable outdoor space here. Um, so that's really kind of, you know, responding to the unique aspects of this, this property here and creating kind of two very distinct houses and that, you know, each family or residents can enjoy and have their own space and not be overlooked by each other. Do architects ever sell modular plans? Yes, and there are actually you know, pre-approved plans and things like that for ADUs. Right. Uh, and, you know, and certain architects have uh, drawings on their website that you can download and you pay a fee for and things like that. So, But most projects have to have somebody there. Like I mean, I think, you know, I, you know, most projects are unique. You know, like not every project has a railroad track in the back. You know, not every project has uh, trees or landscaping that you right. want to preserve. Those types of unique situations and having someone do a unique design for this typically makes the most of those properties. Absolutely, and then to take it one step further, a modular plan or something off the internet doesn't tell me that Baldwin Park doesn't allow exactly you know 20 foot separation you know so little things like that you have to hire an expert for so originally my feeling was to do whatever it takes to give me the option of the lot split exactly but i don't think I don't it think was going to happen because it's a detached adu we 
we don't have to have its own garage. It does not have to have its own parking. So it's its own freestanding structure in the detached garage. The parking can go where we want it to go. So the strategy behind this, since we don't have the separation distance, is to create an ADU, which is associated with this house. But you can rent that out separately to this house anyways. And it will still have its own address. It'll have its own address. It's basically two new units. There'll be two right. units on this property. The one thing that you are doing is you're not splitting the lot in half. Right. So you can't go off and sell this property separate, separate from this right. property. So it'll all be always tied together. The reason why we were motivated to try to build a second house instead of an ADU was that if we ever decided to split the lot, an appraiser is going to give a house a lot more value than he would an ADU. So it looks the same, smells the same, feels the same, but on paper it's different. I love it. I think I'm into this. How cool is this? <laughs> I feel so official. <laughs> I'm serious. You look yeah, official. Like, yeah, no, it's great. This is incredible. Do people have to be homeowners ready to build something to be able to call you and ask you a question? No, definitely not. And I think that's one of the things that I really want to convey is that, you know, architects, uh, you know, especially me, are very approachable. Don't be scared to call, the, you know, there are no dumb questions. Always there to reach out and really speak to people and work with people. Oh, I know you. Yeah. For what it's worth, I called Michael about a buttload of projects before <laughs> I ever had any project they're to get started on. Great, and they're all great experiences. I love talking about projects. And he so. always answered yeah, them, yeah. and he always did it with a smile. Yeah, so yeah exactly. No, of course. So yeah, I really just want to convey that, that, you know, don't be afraid to talk to architects. I mean, I am very grateful to have you in my corner. It's like, it's it provides me so much relief. <laughs> yeah. um, for anybody that's looking to find you, where can we find you on the internet? Where yeah, so our um, our address is capstudios.com. Uh, we have uh, on Instagram as well, just capstudios. My name is Michael Capsibus. I'm the partner at Cap Studios, uh, and our office is in Los Angeles on Wilshire in La Brea. I just can't say thank you enough. No, it's super it's great Christmas working with you, and it's going to be a great project. This I can't wait to see it built. Exactly. This is the thank you, <laughs> Super. Thank you. Cap Studios for everything you need. <laughs> Not just architecture, we can make cakes as well. <laughs>